you did a great job on these pieces, and they're really beautiful. You have a great touch. Uh, you seem really relaxed. Make sure that your wrists are not going down. That's the only thing for your form. But when you end each song, it's very graceful with your body and the music. So I really enjoy that. For the first song that you did, What Child Is This? Uh, in the chorus, you're rushing. So take a metronome, see what you're doing at the opening, and then have the chorus come down a notch and match that. Also, in the verse... What, what child is this who lay to rest? Make sure that the phrases are all covered with pedaling. Well, and, and with your slurs. Okay, so a good way to practice this is to remove the pedal. And I don't know if the words are written in. If they're not, write them in in and if it's hard to tell where they go you can look at a hymnal even even online if you don't have it in your hymnal and you'll see where it goes where the words go with each note so so have the words in there and then most of the time the punctuation is the same as the phrasing in music. <laughs> They're kind of the same thing, except one is music and one is uh, English. So I'm hearing a lot of breaks. And practice with out the pedal and make sure there are no breaks. Then add the pedal back in to make it more warm and flowy. Tree pick is sounding great, and I think, yeah, I don't really have much to say about it except for you to also do the metronome on this one, and I wouldn't go any faster, so when you do the scale in the middle, it slows down a little bit. So see what the tempo is of the scale, and then get everything to that tempo. Uh, so that, you know, we can keep enjoying the music and it won't be too, too fast. And same thing with God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. Make sure that you're not going quite so fast at the opening. You know, let us hear all those notes, and use a metronome per eighth note. So first, have the metronome really uh, see what you're doing at the beginning per eighth note, and then put it twice as slow, so cut it in half, the number and practice eighth notes at that tempo so that you know exactly how fast every section is going. And then you can speed it up again, but have it be the tempo that you're doing in the middle of the song and not at the beginning. So metronomes are always good to do, and... Uh, yeah, anytime. You can always practice with the metronome. And also, you know, we want to use rubato, you know, slowing down and speeding up. And, and you can do that. You can add that after the metronome. You know, you won't lose the feeling or anything. So, yeah, that really sounds good. And then don't forget to let me know how much you practice. We can do that on Tuesday. 
and I will see you Tuesday, and I'm glad you got your pin, and you're only 100 away from the silver pin, which is exciting. All right, I will see you Tuesday.